January is known as Human Sex Trafficking Awareness Month, and we've had a chance to talk to experts about what you may be able to do to help. We actually have tips for you on what to look for and then how to report a problem. 24 Hour News 8's Joe Malillo is with us here this morning talking about that. Good morning. Good morning to you guys. And you ever get that feeling that, hey, something's off and I need to do something? It's so strong, you actually go to help? Well, it happened to one body language expert who says that she saw specific signs of human sex trafficking. Now she wants to pass those tips on to us. It's estimated that there are 27 million humans being enslaved in the world today, and 1.2 million children are trafficked each year around the world. That's why if you see something, say something is so important. Body language expert Lisa Mitchell gave us three tips to help identify a problem in a social setting. Look for behaviors like avoiding eye contact. Normal chit chat or small talk is expected in a social setting. And they are not looking at, if they're not looking at you or looking to an, or, to an adult or caregiver for permission before answering, that's a red flag. Uh, second, look down or covering their eye. Touching the forehead is a hallmark of shame. And finally, physical proximity. If you see someone being guarded or pulled or pushed along in constant hovering, that's a sign. Now that people are becoming more aware of the prevalence of human trafficking and, and child sex trafficking, that it's not just something that can be left to law enforcement or care providers. It has to be a level of vigilance with the, ge the general public because we are the ones who are interacting with these people every single day. And the more we can identify signs of, of red flags, the more we can work with law enforcement and agencies to help get these people rescued and, and rehabilitated. You know, it's also about that feeling I was talking about. You know something isn't right, and if you see those signs reported to a security guard, an officer, or even call 911, there are a number of websites and links to report a problem, and I put them on wishtv.com. I believe there's three of them. So go over there, click on that, and, and that could help. There, there is probably a fear if you're thinking about reporting something that you might be wrong. What do they say if you're wrong? I mean, isn't that something we think about? Like, hey, I'm going to go up to this person and say, uh, accuse them of something. But truthfully, it's better to just apologize than let something like this continue because often you're not only helping one person, you're helping multiple, multiple people. people. So it's definitely something uh, that we may, maybe need to open up our awareness about. Well. Yeah, she had an interesting perspective too. It's great. Thanks I got so much, another John. another soundbite from her next hour as okay. well. Okay, look forward to it. Cool. Seven minutes after.